tomorrow in the evenings, but like it's fine. It's a good day. It's a little bit cold, but I'm feeling okay. I wake up, I go directly to, to the club. Just put my clothes on and go eat some breakfast. I miss a little bit the egg here. <laughs> I like to eat egg in the morning, but I, there's like good other stuff, so I'm gonna take something. How are you today, Lika? <laughs> The first time when Basel was following me, in May, I think, maybe was the first contact, I think. I actually had a contract, so I, I was like really happy and my agent talked to the club. I signed before the Euros for Barca. I was like already really proud of it. I was like, I always have been a fan of Barca, so I was like, yes, I'm going with Barca. to join me. <laughs> the slowest. Panos. Alia bailando. Siempre. Sí. Con Tony, ¿no? Tony. ¿Qué? Ah, ne. Emma, sí. Elia siempre última a la vestuario. Sí. No. Solo palabras. No frase. Poco a poco. I really like the way of playing uh, from Brasa uh, because also of your drive, of course. Like there's a big connection with the Dutch people. Barcelona really wants to uh, they invest a lot in women football like uh, they really have good plans for the future. Uh, I think already we have a good team and I think we only can be better as a team. We get to know each other better, the level is going higher and we have to work hard for it but I really believe in this team. Uh, that's why I really wanted to come here just because the way uh, we, we play now and uh, I really like and enjoy it. We're gonna walk to the pitch and then we go to Carpa. We do like uh, exercises to make our uh, self stronger and like uh, preparation for the practice as well. I think we're more focused on uh, um, position, like playing, like more tactical. Uh, that's a little bit different. In, in uh, Sweden, it was more also phys physical game, a lot of running, so it's different. The waters, like the, uh, from 17 to 25. So all the girls who have like number 17 and higher, their uh, water and like uh, drinks are in here. It's like uh, roulating all the time in the team. So now it's our week. We're a team together, so everyone has to do it. Yeah, I, I always wanted to go forward. If I get the ball, I'm looking forward. I wanted to go as quick as possible to, to the goal or like playing forward. Um, I'm creative, I think, and just like to play one against one and or shoot on a goal or give a cross. It doesn't matter, like if we win, it's the most important thing for me and I try to be important for the team.
when uh, Markel, the team manager, told me that I, I go there in the private uh, plane with Messi, I said, that's al already like amazing. I'm just told by myself, I'm gonna enjoy this day. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't expect even to meet him. And it was a really special day. I could share this also with my parents. is Lieke Martens. Yeah, like, then they said my name and then you're on, the, on stage and <laughs> I was actually speedless. It's a big honor. I'm really proud uh, of it, but uh, of course, without my teammates, I couldn't achieve this. I'm really thankful for everything and yeah, I do, I'm speedless. I'm, I'm like really happy. Thank you. Congratulations. Proud, like I'm really proud what I have achieved. It's an absolutely, uh, absolutely like an amazing year for me. It's very timid. I'm just bored because at the end, I'll see the DB. Oh, the production is good, and in Bella, no, because the series I think is super normal. Es una novia normal que va a entrenar y no se te sientes creativo, al contrario. Creo que ni ella es consciente del que ha estado mañana. <laughs> you can say whatever. I, I look back. I look when, the, when they come on the camera. I say good I raised up in a little village. Like, uh, I have two brothers, I have a little sister, and we all both, we grew up like, in a village and you never like talk much about yourself. We're like calm people, we like, yeah, a little shy. And now you have had to do how many interviews? <laughs> actually, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> but she's good actually, she helps me a lot. Like if people come, she said like, come, come. <laughs> When I was young, I, I uh, always watched it, uh, boys, like uh, men's. I was like fan of Ronaldinho, but I think now it's really cool that we inspire like some young girls and that they get fan of us and that we can be an a, a example for them and that they can see what they can achieve. Because when I, I was young, I always said I wanted to play for Ajax or whatever, but I didn't even have a women team, so I didn't know, knew if I could achieve it. Yeah, Ronaldinho, when I was young, I always watched clips of him, videos, and I really enjoyed him watching, so I want to be like him, and he was my hero when I was young. Yeah, he was like same, like dribbling with the ball, but he had so many more skills as me, but like he's an absolutely amazing player, so yeah, hard to compare with. I have to do a lot of things at home, like I can, I don't even know what I'm doing sometimes, but the time flies. Actually, I should explore maybe a little bit more, like if I like something, I can go back. So it's better maybe to, some, something I like, but next time I go somewhere else. So um, I like really, I really like sushi, so Ikebana I like, it's a good one, and uh, Carpe Diem I've been. So those places, if I want to eat sushi, I go there. Where's Park Du Guil? Hey, there's the. <laughs> Is it that? Is it that? Oh, Sagrada Familia. Yeah, come now, it's easy. <laughs> Mini study also. Oh, I see the. How do you call that? Towel. Agba. Yeah, Tora Agba. Yes. W Hotel, can I see it? Ah, okay. Yes. No. No, I don't, still don't see it. You can, you can see it. Where? No. Uh, next to the mountain. Next to the beach. Yeah. Is that? Ah. Yeah. Ah, okay. I really enjoy the city. 
Yeah, when you wake up and almost every day the sun is shining, like it's different also where I came from. Like for example, Sweden, like it's different as well. It was a smaller town, like Barcelona is a big town, so there's a lot of things to do. But actually, I didn't have that much time yet to explore like much in the city. Uh, but maybe like in the future, I will and walk around a little bit more. Yeah. But I know the city before because I've been there a couple of times, just like for a weekend or like little holidays. I was looking back like to some pictures and I was oh, I wear like a Barcelona t-shirt and my mom showed it last time when I was like at home. You see, I said, this is like actually crazy. Like I was also, I, I knew I was a Barca fan, but like then she had a picture of me when I was like maybe four or five and I had a Barca t-shirt, so that was cool. They always have been supportive of me. Like, for example, my parents always drove me everywhere. Without them, I couldn't achieve this as well. Uh, like, even my two brothers, I always played with them. Like, in the garden, I played with them. And now they see that I have achieved what I have achieved now. And they said, like, they're really proud. And they always say also, like, do you remember the time we played together in the garden? And now you're here. So it's a big difference. Yeah. This is actually like a crazy year for me, like uh, what happened now to me, um, I didn't expect it before. Uh, but I'm like, always uh, took every chance I got. I really worked hard for it, like every single day. Um, I have offered them so much, so like, yeah, I was hoping that I would achieve ever something like this. And I'm like achieving it now and I'm like really, really happy. But I'm now 24, almost 25 and I'm like, wanted to do and win more prizes, so I'm not done yet. Adios.